Hello, welcome to Kevin's Covers. Today we are going to take a look at Redbone's 1973 hit, Come and Get Your Love. I know that I've been doing a few hard songs the last couple weeks, and uh, this is a really easy song to do, all strumming, uh, and so I'm going to call this easy on a scale of easy, intermediate, and difficult. Uh, great song to do. People are going to sing along to this. Let's take a look at the performance, and then I'll show you very simply how it's done. So first thing to notice here is that I am doing this on a 12 string, my 1976 Guild 12 string. Um, I, I just think it fills it out a little better. Uh, of course, everything I'm doing here you can easily do on a 6 string, uh, particularly these kind of strum strumming songs I like, I like using a 12 string. Very simple song, there's only four chords and they just repeat over the verse, over the chorus, over everything. So let's take a look. It's quite simply an E minor 7 followed by an A major followed by a D major 7 that we're just going to hit by barring these three, uh, these three strings over here, the first three strings, then followed by a B minor 7. That's pretty much it. I could, you can stop this video if that's enough for you, it's going to work. Uh, just to point out that um, Lolly Vegas, when he played it, uh, actually played a, a weird kind of thing on the B minor 7, but if you listen to the entire the entire group, then clearly it's B minor 7. So all we're doing is just a very simple strong pattern. 
Perhaps the only thing to notice about that strumming pattern is that on the D major 7 I'm using upstroke, so... A little bit of syncopation there. Uh, that follows the vocals, what's the matter? You know, that kind of thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just to point out, the little intro um, is quite simply D, B, A. So. Now since I'm doing it on a 12 string, I'm doing upstroke, so I don't hit the, the octave strings quite that much, but uh, otherwise you can just play it any way you want. The only other thing really to notice is that after the end of the chorus, right, where he's singing, you know, Come and get your love. I like to hammer that. There's a little bit of a bass riff, I think, and a little bit of a drum fill there, so I think hammering that B minor 7 works. And at the very end of it, in fact, um, the other guitarist, I, I don't know who the other guitarist was in Redbone, uh, is actually, th there's a half measure here at the end of the, the chorus, and he's actually playing something like... Um, and I played around with arranging something along those lines, but anything where you're just coming up, you're stopping the overall flow and that repetitive strumming, and if anything, that kind of monot like, could be seen as monotonous strumming, I think helps draw, pe draw people into the song. And I think that when you're performing this, the idea is to get people to sing along, right? All over the chorus, come and get your love, you know? Uh, so if you, at the end of it, you're just coming up. <laughs> ah, it kind of breaks things down. So all I do is I just do something that's vaguely reminiscent of it off the E minor 7, where I'm playing off of that F sharp, uh, E, D. So. And I think that works okay. So uh, that's about it, really. Uh, great song, like I said. You can get people to sing along to it. Uh, really interesting thing, Redbone. I don't know if you know this song. Uh, it was in the famous mixtape from the first Guardians of the Galaxy film, and so people kind of rediscovered it. I remember when it came out in 1973. I was nine years old, and I just walked along singing it all the time. Man, the early 70s were great, great times for songs. Uh, and uh, I don't think I learned it back then um, in terms of playing it, but uh, interesting thing about Redbone. Redbone is pretty much the only rock band I know of that consists entirely of Native Americans. Uh, Lolly and Pat Vega, uh, or Vegas, I forget, um, were actually Native Americans. I think they were actually from, from Mexico if, or from the southwest of the United States. And often in the beginning of their concerts, they would uh, do some some traditional Native American dance, and in fact there's a video on YouTube of them doing this song with, uh, preceded by a Native American dance, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so there you go, and of course all kinds of other things going on in this channel. If you like this song, please like it, you know, hit that like. If you're interested in seeing more songs that are put together for acoustic covers with one voice and one guitar, then please do subscribe, and in the meantime, Rock on!